Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our family yoga session. We are excited to have Marcel Long Longlade here with us to lead us in 30 minutes of yoga so we can relax and reset. Marcel is a yoga teacher, biomedical engineer, and devoted entrepreneur. She's a passionate advocate for people living with chronic conditions and disabilities because Marcel is one of those people too. She has had a lifelong journey battling complex health conditions, mainly FMF, narcolepsy type one, and HEDS. Marcel created the Chronically Surviving Advocacy blog where she shares stories from her life. As a result, other people feel up open to sharing their narratives to help spread awareness and develop a sense of community and belonging. The second part of her platform and business is called, As I'm gonna completely mispronounce this, Asin, Asintma Healing. She offers physical, emotional, spiritual, and practical support using a holistic model of care, specifically for those living with chronic health conditions. Marcel, take it away. Thank you so much for that lovely intro. And you pronounced it perfectly, so that's awesome. Um, welcome to yoga. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are having a good time at the conference so far. Um, so this will be a chair yoga practice. So if you don't have a chair, if you're not seated already, then go ahead and try to get one. I have my chair here. It's kind of just a regular folding chair. Um, any chair will work. Um, and if you want to do it standing, you can do it standing. That's totally fine too. Whatever works for you. So go ahead and grab what you need and we'll get started. So you can, once you find your seat, just make sure that you're far enough forward. Sorry, let me just move my screen a bit. There we go. Just make sure that you're far enough forward that you can have your feet firmly on the ground. I'm short, so I have to come quite a bit forward on my chair and that's totally fine. And have your knees in line with your hips and bring your hands to your lap or wherever is comfortable and you can close your eyes if that's okay with you or just soften and lower the gaze and just start by noticing your breath here and just landing in the moment forgetting whatever came before and whatever is going to come after landing here right now so a few things I want to mention before we get going is one, I have uh, two pet rabbits, so they might come in and out of the screen and you might hear little noises in the background. Um, thank you for bearing with me with that. And the other thing is I might come out of the pose to just uh, demonstrate other things or to just show you something or talk about something so don't try to mimic me or just if you see me just randomly coming out of the pose don't feel like you need to come out of the pose unless you want to um and don't worry i'll cue you uh, like through going in and out that you, it'll all be good and speaking of you know mimicking me the way i practice and the way i teach yoga is that with the philosophy of it's not the, what the pose looks like. So it might look a certain way on my body, but that's not what matters. You don't need to match what the pose looks like, but it's more about how it feels in your unique body. We all, all our bodies are completely different and unique. And so we have to honor that. And by honoring that is by just coming into your body sensation and making sure it feels safe and comfortable for you. So with that, I'll let you guys come here to the present moment. Start to lengthen your breath, allowing the inhales and the exhales to be of equal length, if that's comfortable for you. Feeling any tension in your body, a lot of us hold a lot of tension in our jaw, in our shoulders. Wherever you feel tension, just breathe there, breathe into it, release as much as you can.
You can gently blink your eyes open if they were closed or lift the gaze. And let's begin. So we'll start with cat and cow. So bring your hands to your lap, wherever is comfortable, feet firmly rooted to the ground, tall spine, inhale here, and exhale, we'll round the back, bringing our belly button to our spine, chin to chest, rounding the back like a cat. Inhale, we're gonna open the chest, lifting the heart, sticking your bum out a bit, and maybe lifting the gaze. So this is your cow. And with your breath, you exhale and round the spine like a cat. And inhale to open up like a cow. And we'll do a few more of those and go as fast or as slow as you feel is necessary for you right now. And we're just mobilizing the spine here, especially if we've been, you know, sitting for most of the day. And you can let that go and come back to center. Let's stretch out our neck. So take some big circles of the head one way, making sure to breathe. And feeling any nook and cranny that may be more tense than other parts. And then go the other way. Stretching out the neck here, giving it some love. And I'm feeling crunchies. I don't know about you guys, but that's okay. As long as there's no pain. And you can come back to center. We'll bring our fingertips to our shoulders like we're little chickens. <laughs> and we'll start taking big circles with our arms, kind of tracing these huge circles with our elbows, imagining if we have these crayons on our elbows and we're trying to draw a circle on a big, big piece of paper. And the elbows come in and then sign out. And we'll go the other way. Remembering to breathe smoothly in and out. And you can let that go. You can shake out your hands. Good job. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more activation here. So if you're able to lift your legs, then we that we will incorporate that i'll show you every kind of modification that you can use and again feel free to modify however you please whatever works for you so we'll be doing something like inhale here exhale we'll bring with the right knee up or whichever knee we'll do both and then we're going to inhale here we bring the right arm up to the same arm as the leg holding the leg with the other arm or you can have your both arms up and then you exhale and you let it all down. If you don't want to incorporate the legs, then you just do the arms. So inhale with your arms down, exhale, your arms stay here. Inhale, your arms go up, reach up, reach, 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 and then exhale, they come down. So th that's the variation. You can also just do it with your shoulders, whatever works for you and your body, okay? So let's do it together. And we're gonna alternate legs. Okay, so just do whatever you can and you can always switch throughout. Okay, so let's do it. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Stand, keeping your hand, your left hand to your leg. Inhale, the right arm goes up. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale, it all comes down. Take an inhale here. We're going to switch legs. So exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, we'll bring the left arm up. Reach, reach. Exhale, it all comes down. Okay, let's do one more on either side. Okay, inhale together. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, the right arm goes up, or maybe both arms go up. Reach, reach, reach. 
and exhale it all comes down we'll do the left leg now inhale as you are exhale bring your left knee to your nose inhale the left arm goes up maybe both arms go up reach 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 and then exhale it all comes down good job awesome okay now let's just do a little bit of a funner pose it's tree pose um some of you may know it already some of you may not you can do it standing you can do it sitting i'll demonstrate sitting and then i'll demonstrate standing so you inhale as you are bringing your hands to your hips fanning the right leg out to this side so you're putting weight into your left leg and then you bring your right foot the sole of your right foot up against either your left ankle you can also bring it to the leg of the chair or wherever works for you and so this is the position that we'll be in for seated so just stay here, breathe here with me while I show for standing. So just for the standing posture, it's the same. You put your weight into your left leg, bring your right knee out to the side, your right foot goes to your leg. If you want a little bit more challenge, you can go up on your, um, on your calf here, on your lower leg. Make sure to never put it on your knee though. So put it somewhere here. And you can always hold your chair for balance. Okay, you ready? Let's do it all together. Okay, so wherever you are in your three pose, if you can, you can bring your hands to heart center, breathing in here. And a nice breath out. One more inhale. And exhale if you want a little bit more challenge. And next inhale you take, you can bring your arms up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. And then if you want even more challenge, you can add a little sway, like you're blowing in the wind. And be careful, this will be especially difficult for those standing. So you might wanna have one hand holding the chair and one arm swaying. Just be very careful and mindful here. We'll just take another couple of sways back and forth if you are swaying. If you're not including the leg, you can always just use your upper body or you just, without the arms and sway back and forth it's all good okay inhale here stop swaying come back to center exhale bring your arms down to your heart inhale and exhale we bring it all back to center and you can go ahead and shake your legs out shake it out good job Okay, we'll do it on the other side. Are you ready? So find whatever variation works for you. None of them are better or easier or any of it. They're just different. So it's all about what works in your body, okay? Here we go. Inhale as we are. Exhale, find the position of your foot. I'm gonna put it against the chair this time. Bringing your hands to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, you may choose to add an upward motion of the arms, reaching up. And, and then you might add a little sway, remembering to breathe in and out. And again, remember those who are doing this standing to be very careful and mindful not to, to topple over. And slowly start to let that go arms reach up high inhale exhale they come back down to heart center inhale into your heart and exhale let it all go we're coming back to center shake it out do what you need to do okay now let's do a uh what's called star pose okay so we'll do i'll show you what it looks like and you can do whatever variation works for you so you can just do the arms and your arms will go wide stretch stretch and then you'll give yourself a hook if you want to add the legs you go your arms wide legs wide reach 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 and then everything comes back and you give yourself a hook and that's what it looks like and you might not go high you might be just here and hug here and hug 
That's totally cool. Whatever works for you. Okay. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale here. Inhale, arms out. You want to add the legs to it. Reach, 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 reach. Like the star that you are. And then exhale. Bring it in. Bring your left arm over your right. And hug yourself. Curl in. Okay, let's do it again. Inhale, arms go wide. Maybe you add the legs. Reach, reach, reach. And then you exhale to curl it back in. Just on your right arm over your left. And you give yourself a nice little hug. Maybe you sway. And then you let that go. Awesome. So good. Okay, let's do another little fun pose before we start relaxing. So we're going to do warrior one and warrior two but punches. So I'll show you what it'll look like and then you guys can have an idea of where to go. Okay. So you, first we're going to spin. So we're facing the right or whatever. We're going to do both sides. And you come so you're a little bit. So your right leg is still on the chair, but your left leg is kind of off the chair. And we're going to step the foot back. Doesn't have to go very far. And this is your warrior one. And we're going to have our fist pointing forward. Or you can hold on to the chair with your right hand and just have the left arm forward. So this is warrior one. And then we're going to open up into warrior two. So your arm goes out. Then you spin the chest. Your hips spin too. Notice that my foot is now kind of falling to the ground a little bit to allow that to happen. And either you're here holding on to the chair or you're going to go out wide. And then we're going to transition. So we're going to come back to warrior one and punch. But notice that I've twisted my chest back and hip back and my foot is now in more of a lunge position. Cool. Got it. We can do it together now. So find your warrior one. Your arms forward or one arm forward. And if you're not adding the legs, you can just do it with your arms. This is warrior one. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Exhale, punch back to warrior one. Open up, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, forward and punch. We'll do two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, punch. Good job. Last one. Inhale, open. And exhale, punch. Amazing. Step your left foot forward and shake it out. Amazing, we'll do the other side. So we're not exactly symmetrical beings, so maybe this side will look different than the first side. You just do whatever works for you. Okay, we're gonna start in warrior one. So let's all meet there. And you inhale, you open up, warrior two. Exhale, punch, bring your hip forward, warrior one. Inhale, warrior two, open up wide. And exhale, we punch forward. All right, three more. Inhale, open up wide. Good job. Exhale, punch. And two more. Inhale, exhale to punch. Inhale to open, last one. And exhale to punch. Good job. Bring your right foot forward and come back to a seated position. So bring your legs a little bit wide here. Not doesn't have to be too much, but a little wider than hip width. Whatever is comfortable. We're just gonna take a nice little forward fold here. So you can bring your hands to your hips or to your thighs. The first place to go is just being on your forearms. And if this is enough of a stretch for you, then that's amazing. Um, the other option is to slowly just start to come down, down until you're as comfortable. Some people might be a little bit more flexible than others and can come all the way down. You can keep your back straight if that's better for you, or you can have more of a rounded spine, letting your head hang heavy 
here and just it should feel really nice it should feel like a release so you shouldn't be holding on anywhere holding on to it like feeling like you're clinching if you are you might want to adjust maybe it's about going a little bit further back on the chair or maybe not having your legs out so wide maybe coming up a little bit and not going so deep into it And just breathe here. Let yourself just have a moment and relax and see how all of that feels in your body. Making sure you're not clenching your jaw or furrowing your brow. And breathing nice and deep. And then on your next inhale, you come back up. You can use your hands, slowly walk them up the thighs until you're back into a seated position, the original position that we were in. And we're gonna take a seated pigeon pose here, if that's accessible for you. Those that are standing, I would suggest coming down to the mat at this point and just sitting with your legs out in front of you, knees bent a little bit. We're going to start with the right side. So putting a little bit more weight into your left leg, you're going to lift your right leg up and spin it out to the side so that you can bring your right ankle over your left knee. And you should feel a stretch in the outer right thigh, the outer right hip. So if you're feeling it there already when you're here, that's perfect if you're not feeling anything there's a few things that you can do one is you can really mindfully and gently start to coax this right thigh closer to the ground so you might be here and just trying to coax it a little bit the other option is you can come forward a bit and kind of cradle your your legs here so you're a little bit more contained and a little bit Go bending forward will definitely increase the sensation in the hips, so just be mindful. And then some people can, can go a little further, whatever works for you. Don't push yourself. This is not about pushing yourself. This is about just, you know, bringing in a little bit of awareness and sensation into that part of the body that we've been kind of warming up throughout the practice. And as always, remember to breathe. And if this is too much, you know, you can back off, you can lean back. And if you don't want to, if it's not working for you, you can always just come back to that forward fold. Basically just do you. And we'll take another couple breaths here. Releasing tension and leaving some love to our hip. And on your next inhale, slowly rise up. You can use the assistance of your hands to walk yourself, walk yourself up. You can let go of that right foot and shake it out. And we'll go to the next side again. So this side might be different than the first side. And we're not symmetrical beings. And so just find whatever variation works for you today. And so you're gonna bring your right, your left knee up bring your left foot over your right ankle and you might just stay here you might bend forward you might lean back you might put a little bit more pressure on the left thigh to coax it more towards the ground and just relax here breathe again this shouldn't be a difficult pose to hold you shouldn't be like trying real hard obviously there is some sort of activation there is some sort of you know holding on here but you shouldn't be you know super tense you should be able to breathe smoothly so a few more breaths on this side and on your next inhale you can come back up to right let go of that left leg, bring it back down. 
And then we'll just do a gentle twist. So you're bringing your right hands to your left side, twisting your torso towards the left. Take a deep inhale, exhale, twist a little deeper. And then inhale, we'll go straight to the other side. So your hands come to the right side, spinning your torso to the right. Inhale here. And exhale. And come back to center. And now we're already on to our final relaxation posture. So if you want to stay on the chair, you can stay here on the chair. Or you can go down to the mat and, you know, do some shavasana on the mat. Whatever works for you. You can do it sitting up against the wall. Just wherever you feel comfortable and you'll be able to let go and release any tension and just feel really supported by the chair or, or the, the, the floor beneath you. If you are seated, make sure that your feet are firmly rooted and under the ground, knees are about hip width apart. And if it's comfortable for you, you can close the eyes or just soften and lower the gaze. Start to deepen your inhales and your exhales. Releasing any tension in the forehead, the jaw, the neck, shoulders. The thighs, the calves, the feet, the arms. Your body's just fully relaxed and there's nothing to do here. You don't need to stop your thoughts or anything like that. Just a moment to be. I'll leave you for a few few seconds in silence, but don't worry. We'll be back to get to when, when we're ready. back to your breath bring awareness to your hands and your feet maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes reaching your arms up and overhead taking a big stretch and then letting that go bring your hands to heart center taking a deep breath in together and exhale together. Bow to yourself for showing up today for this practice and for your body. You guys are awesome. And coming back up and you can blink the eyes open or focus your gaze. And thank you all so, so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. And I hope it was a fruitful practice and that you guys got a little bit of a uh, reset before moving on with the rest of the amazing content of this conference. If you have any questions at all, feel free to check out my booth and you can contact me through there. And there's a bunch of other free kind of um, offerings and resources um, for you to take advantage of as well. All right, everybody. Thank you so much, Marcel, for that relaxing opportunity. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves and enjoyed the yoga with their family.